After three years of lockdown, everyone wants to travel the world again. We are no exception. Yellowstone is always on our list. So we chose to take a bus tour visiting Yellowstone National Park from Las Vegas. We had a wonderful time seeing antelope, Yellowstone, and Bryce Cannon for eight days. When we checked out our hotel room and ready to go home, an email came. Our flight to Toronto has been delayed to the next evening. We had never experienced this before. As we're standing in front of the hotel reception, we thought we'd just secure a room for an extra night and we'll deal with the airline later on. The next day, we looked up the internet and see how we can spend the extra day here. Wow, there are so many things to do. Bellagio Music Fountain, Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. And one thing caught my eyes was the Lady Diana's exhibit at Area Hotel. We bought tickets online and started our day on the strip. It was 36 degrees. Our skin was dry and burning hot. I felt so sorry for the people who has to wear heavy costumes walking on the street. We bought a day pass for $2.50 to hop on a bus anytime, anywhere on the strip, and it was the best deal ever. The exhibition was well curated. It was a travel in time with Princess Diana's dresses and personal artifacts for viewers to learn so much more about her life from beginning to the end. It's time to leave for the airport again. We checked in and settled down in the terminal. And bang, another email. Our flight has been cancelled again. The new schedule will be 11.15 p.m. the following day. We didn't know how to react. There was no customer service in the domestic terminal. We stumbled to the international terminal, and then we saw the Air Canada counter from far. The supervisor in charge was so sorry to hear our story. He immediately found a hotel room for us for the night with some meal vouchers. Here we go again. We checked into the Tuscany resort at midnight and tried not to think about tomorrow before sunrise. We bought another bus pass to weave in and out of the Venetian, Caesars, and Bellagio casinos along the strip. People are everywhere enjoying life and the pandemic was totally forgotten. But the truth was, we just wanted to go home, even Las Vegas had so much to offer. In the evening, we set for the airport again. This time, we had dinner at the airport restaurant using the airline vouchers. And then we settled at the gate for our flight to go home. When we thought we could sleep in our own bed tonight, the email came up on the phone again. Same old reason as the other two nights. The pilot and the crew needed to take a break, and everyone had to stay put. The Air Canada supervisor, along with his team, started to arrange accommodation for over 200 passengers, and it was a real challenge with most hotels already booked for the busy weekend. We arrived at the Hampton Inn at 2.30 a.m. and needed to be back to the familiar E2 terminal by 7.30 a.m. By now, we felt like working in this terminal and the staff became our friends. At least this time, we woke up at the same time as the pilot and the crew to go home. To make the story short, we finally returned to Toronto on June 26, with a huge hiccup in between. After the lockdown, most cities were not fully prepared for travelers, and staffing was a major challenge. It took some time to bring it closer to normal. We are hoping a smooth and safe traveling for all. 
and no one has to go through what we experienced in Las Vegas this June.